morning. Welcome to the Chapel of the Nativity from Bethlehem High. As we gather, bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all His benefits. It is He who forgives all your sins. As we gather in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. As we gather this morning on this Saturday, let us praise God and thank Him for helping us through this week. Lord Jesus, you call us as sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us as friends. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to this table of faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O Lord, that with our hearts set on Paschal Mysteries, on the Paschal Mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is He who is rent but He will heal us. He has struck us, but He will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, He will raise us up to live in His presence. Let us know, let us strive to know the Lord, as the certain as the dawn is His coming, and His judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like the spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason I smote them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God, rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response today it is mercy I desire, not sacrifice. It is mercy I desire, not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. It is mercy I desire, not sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. It is mercy I desire, not sacrifice. Be bountiful, O Lord, to Zion in your kindness by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then you shall be pleased with due sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocausts. It is mercy I desire, and not sacrifice. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, and adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week I pray, pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's gospel really reminds us that we should take the position of the tax collector. 
tax collectors were despised in the world of the gospel. They were not looked on as people of faith. They were looked on as cheaters and stealers and robbers because they had to take a certain amount, give a certain amount to Rome, and keep the rest for them. But the Pharisee has a problem. He says, I go to church every day. I do everything I'm supposed to. But it goes back to that core issue. What is he doing with his heart? What are we doing with our hearts? Are we in the position of the Pharisee or the position of the tax collector? Well, no matter whichever one we fall into, the Lord accepts us dramatically and with, without any hesitation. But we do want to be careful that we look on our neighbor as somebody just like us, broken and probably hiding some real deep pain. But God continues to invite us to come to this table and to be forgiven as sinners. And especially on this Saturday, we pray to Mary for that same need, that she be with us to guide us and strengthen us as we continue our journeys of faith. Let us now pray, Almighty God, and present our petitions to Him who desires our honest and open prayers. That all members of the church may grow in knowledge and love of God through His grace and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That judges, juries, law enforcement officials may be guided by God in balancing judgment with mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the Lord may heal and bind up the wounds of those injured or recovering from surgery or recovering from any illness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those gathered here with us today, whose hearts are experiencing despair, may be blessed with God's consolation and His peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died in Christ may return to the Lord, to His glorious kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also two special intentions, one for Roy and Mary Harrison, and also for the entire Bethlehem family. May they be guided, strengthened, and protected. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now offer our own prayers that are on our hearts that we present to God this day. For all these intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of the prophets, you call us back to this Lent. In need of your healing and merciful love, grant these in all our prayers, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ. You call us up to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we accept it by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray now, my brothers and my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all, His holy church. O God, by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach your mysteries with minds made pure, grant, we pray, that in reverently handing them on, we may offer you fitting homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Today I'd like to pray the second prayer for reconciliation. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless you through Jesus Christ your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you bestowed upon us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, my friends. God bless you and strengthen you this Saturday. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May we truly revere, O merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us, and may always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For our Mass is ended now, let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.